One more time, center, please. One more time, center. The times we live in um, inform mostly everything, and particularly the politics of the time that we live in influences the way I think about what I'm doing. This project had a special freedom because uh, the important things about it to begin with were that it be COVID nimble, meaning that we could find a way to shoot through COVID. Um, and its, its development came through, yes, I need to make a film, and there are these locations that are interesting, and it could grow from that. And the, it happened during that time of the collision, really, for me, um, of Black Lives Matter and uh, the, the pandemic. And that collision was very evident also in Australia, um, where there was a need for protest, but protest was banned because of COVID. And so it, 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 it was in my thinking, it, it, it sat on top of all the thoughts that came. And so I let it be that, I let it go in that direction. Firstly, I think what is always the biggest challenge on any film, which is, okay, shooting is the difficult part. It is the art of compromise. You approach a shoot with the perfect vision in your mind, and all you do on the way through is compromise. Um, although sometimes you find it's better than your original vision. So, that's always the same thing for me, I think. Um, in this case, too, it was keeping up with the crew because we had a lot of walking to do, and they're all much younger than I am. <laughs> so to keep up was difficult, yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't understand why, that was your question, why and how someone can walk a long distance in sand, it, it's hot, and the same questions, um, people who are minimized or discriminated, they ask themselves that question, why people on power don't see how we are suffering? I can twist that question in that way. So you, when we are in power, we don't see and we don't understand the distance, the, 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 um, the struggle of people. And that, that's how philosophically I can say, um, if I answer your question, um, to come back to how I walked bare feet, to me, that was part of my life. I come from where I was walking bare feet. For, it's not a big deal or problem. It's a, it is a big problem, but it's not a big problem if you don't have options, other options. So I have to walk bare feet. And sometimes I practice it even here, sometimes, because it reminds me of where I come from and the struggle I went through. So if you understand, I think that's one part of the answer I can give. We only had a crew of nine people on set, very small, uh, very young, um, and it really was, and a lot of walking, obviously, if we've gone across over multiple states uh, and many, many kilometres. <laughs> and uh, the, it really was a team film to have such a small amount of people working on a, such a vast, vast landscape film. Um, it was really a special experience, I think, um, because, uh, yeah, there were, <laughs> there were only two people in the camera department, camera department no grip, no gaffer. To, no, we had um, uh, very small, very small. Uh, yeah, it was, um, <laughs> it was quite a special experience, really, and it really turned out uh, quite special. Thank you. There is, I have doubt about every film I make, whether I'm the right person to make it. Um, there are scripts I have received where I've said, look, I love the, the project, but I'm not the right person to do it. Um, at the same time, uh, a director's job is to, and writer, is to understand a range of people and, and um, 
uh, where they come from, background, understand where that is and what that is. Mm -hmm. And so on that level, I think I'm as qualified as anybody is. Um, the other thing is, I guess, I've spent you know, a lot of time and energy uh, working in the Australian Indigenous community and I've learned to understand a great deal from that and have been invited back numbers of times to make films with them. This is not so different. Um, it's different, but then every film is. Um, in the end, the story is as much a white story as it is a black story. Um, and whoever makes that story has to understand both sides. Um, and that's, that's my job. Honestly, we never been even, we never knew even uh, there were film festival existing. My family and, and myself was the first time to know, oh, we are in Adelaide for 17 years and we never knew film festival existed. So uh, to me, I would say, I would say um, I was surprised for Rolf to take a risk for someone who never been in uh, the movie before, because that was uh, one of the questions during my interview. Um, and I always say it's a miracle. If I compare from um, to where I come from to now, no, I, I, I was very, um, I had confidence because I always uh, feel curiosity is too much on me. Um, once I saw Rolf is confident with me, I said, hmm, why is he taking too much risk like this? Because I was not sure how it would happen. The camera, the, 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 leaving my family for a couple of months and how it would happen. And also coming back to the struggle as a, a black person, if I destroy someone else thing, what will happen to me? That was a, another big challenge. I'm jumping in on this, and we had a, 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 a family meeting with my husband and children. My children are there. The challenge was two or if, seven. <laughs> if yeah, two of them. <laughs> if I fail, because I don't know what will happen. Never, no one in our family knew about filming. If I fail, am I going to pay? It will cost me. How? Am I going to survive again? OK, we, I took it. Let God will make the miracle. And I always say to Rolf, it's a miracle. And Rolf said, sometimes I remember, that's, it's, it's not a, a new word. That's why it, that, that word was created, a miracle. So I would say thank you for Rolf to give me this chance, opportunity to act. And from now, I feel like why I should not act? <laughs> why? <laughs> it's first time I acted, first time to come to Europe, and in the first country, this country. So everything I think is possible if we give um, the people we are struggling a chance. Trusting, I think, it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing, and taking risk. We can't um, achieve big or think big if you don't take risk. In the social work, we say that this. So thank you, Rob, for taking risk. <laughs> and I would say thank you to myself for uh, uh, <laughs> jumping in something I don't know. <laughs> There is much kindness in this world, but we are in danger of losing it. That's, that's really as simple as that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm always, uh, I'm both optimistic and pessimistic um, at the same time. That's just me. Um, I'm always, always, I love it when somebody is kind. I, it just touches me a lot. Um, I guess I've come to expect the opposite more often. Uh, and then things happen where I feel no. So, for example, coming to this festival, 
um, in the process leading up to it and the writing to people and so on, I've met nothing but kindness. And I think, oh, how wonderful that this film is playing at this festival because I am unexpectedly receiving so much kindness.